Malgox is about to sell a ton of Bitcoin onto the market and everybody is dumping their Bitcoin. Should you be worried? Are we going to hit much lower prices or is the bottom in? Let's get into it. Welcome to Black Box Trading. I am your host, JT, and here on the channel, we focus on Bitcoin fundamental and technical analysis. So if you like money and you like crypto, give us a subscribe. And in today's video, we're going to be kind of uh, picking apart the Mt. Gox FUD. Everybody is freaking out thinking that Mt. Gox is going to absolutely decimate the market. Not only do I not think that the market is going to be decimated, but the price movements that we just saw last night... I think are the low for this consolidation and it's nothing but up only from here. The market has decided to sell a lot of Bitcoin in anticipation of Mt. Gox uh, releasing funds to its users. The, the people who lost all their money on Mt. Gox are finally gonna get their Bitcoin back. And the assumption is that they're going to be selling. But let's do a little bit of math here. So huge shout out to Fred Krueger who uh, did this Bitcoin, uh, this Mt. Gox math. Roughly 100,000 Bitcoin will be distributed starting in July. Of these estimates, 65,000 will go to the individual holders who lost their Bitcoin on Mt. Gox, and a minimum of 6,500 BTC will be liquidated. Now, let's say that the number is twice as much, so 13,000 Bitcoin. That number is roughly the amount that MicroStrategy acquired five days ago at the price of 780 million. Does anybody remember the market moving at all? No, you don't. And that's kind of the point is the market is so much more evolved now. It's so much more liquid. It is going to absorb the Mt. Gox supply very, very easily. So Fred Krueger continues here. Uh, remember this starts in July. We have no idea of the emission schedule. It could be spaced over months. So this doesn't have to hit the market all at once. Fred continues here. His point is that we've already dropped $120 billion in market cap over the last week. Even at a 40X multiplier, not only is the Mt. Gox event priced in, it is completely overshot. If we go over CoinGecko and take a look at the 24-hour uh, trading volume here for Bitcoin, it is $44 billion. You're worried about $1 billion hitting the market when we have $44 billion of 24-hour volume. It's a drop in the bucket. It's not a big deal at all. All right, so let's get into the daily chart of Bitcoin and kind of break things down. We have been trading sideways. Now, the thing is, alts have been doing very poorly. Alts had a meteoric rise. They had a ton of hype. We had a, a seemingly never ending meme coin season. We had a huge ordinal boom. We had a Solana boom. We had a base boom. Everything was doing really, really well. The problem is the conviction of the holders for those types of projects is really low. And you couple that with low liquidity, meaning that it's very easy to move price. You get paper hands driving the price down. So if you have a very heavy meme coin allocation, if you have a very heavy ordinal allocation, you're not having a very good time here. But the reality is, is Bitcoin hasn't really gone down. It hasn't gone down much at all. I am way up. I bought heavy in the bear market and I've got five times the amount of money that I invested. I'm, I'm sitting quite pretty here. And we're currently sitting at like 18% down from the highs. Now, if you've been following us on this channel for a while, you'll already know that I have said numerous on numerous occasions that your portfolio has to be Bitcoin heavy as long as Bitcoin dominance is in an uptrend. Bitcoin dominance has been in an uptrend for the entirety of the bull market, which doesn't necessarily mean that altcoins don't give you positive price action, what it means is that they don't keep their value and that over the long run, they lose their value when compared to Bitcoin. So now I want to talk about this current candle, this 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 liquidity event that we have seen. We have been in a downtrend of volume for a long time from this uh, from the high here over to our current candle, 100 days of downtrending activity, 100 days of downtrending volume. You can see this in the volume right here, going from the high 
we can see that volume has been trending down. Volume has been trending down. This means two things to me. A, we're not in a distribution. We are in accumulation. Distribution has huge volume spikes every time we reach, every time we hit a resistance, you get a huge volume spike as the whales start selling. So we are not in a distribution. We have the uh, ability for continuation. This is accumulation. And the smart money has just been waiting on the sidelines for a liquidity event, for a sentiment shift, waiting for the market to turn bearish. And it has finally happened, boom, right here. You can see we have our liquidity event. We have our break of trend. This is a high volume event is coming with one of our strongest uh, buy signals that we go by, which is the green diamond on the daily sitting on the 200. So the green diamond in a bull market has pretty much marked every single major retracement in a bull market. So far, since the transition from bear market to bull market, we have had one, two, three, four green diamonds, and every single one of them marked the bottom. This one marked the bottom for a rally up 63%. This one marked the bottom with a rally up 62%. This one also marked the bottom with a rally up 193%. And I am just going to go with the law of averages and the law of probabilities because that's the best that we have in technical analysis. And I'm going to go ahead and say that this is also marking the bottom for this consolidation. So not financial advice. If you're still scared, if you're still worried, I understand. I have empathy for you. I can, I can, I know what it's like to have lost a lot of money and have somebody tell you now's the time to buy. I get it, okay? But what I want you to get from this video is a little bit of calming because in my experience, in my experience in this market, I believe quite strongly that this is a bottom for this consolidation and that we are going to convert the trend back into an uptrend. I'm gonna show you the 2017 cycle because I think there's a lot of similarities from the 2015 to 2017 cycle. And I'm also going to uh, pull a fractal from there. So let's go ahead and take a look. This is the 2015 to 2016 cycle. You can see that when we pivoted from a downtrend into an uptrend, we had one, two, three, four, five, uh, we'll call it five because this one was after the uh, all-time high. We got five green diamonds and look at where they came. The absolute bottom. It marked the absolute bottom. We went up only after that. The second one, the bottom of the consolidation. When this came in, you did not get a lower price. Same thing over here. When the green diamond came in, you did not get a lower price. When the green diamond came in, you did not get a lower price did not get a lower price, you see what I am saying. So these are very powerful signals in the market. They're not to be taken lightly, and I'm very bullish. Now, where do I think we are in the cycle? I draw a lot of parallels to this cycle, to the cycle that we're in right now. With one exception, this cycle that we've been in right now, because of the ETFs, we moved very, very quickly. We moved very quickly. And I think we're actually ahead of schedule. If I was to guess, I think we're here. I think we're in this consolidation right here, which you can see here, which you can see on this cycle is still below the all time high. I don't think, I don't think we're at this kind of structure or, or even this kind of structure where the green diamond comes in and then boom, you get a V shaped recovery and uh, we're off to the races. I do think that this green diamond is marking the bottom of this consolidation, but I also think that there is going to be a, a slow tick up to convince the market that we are bullish. So yes, the bottom is in, but no, I don't think we're going to rally this month. I don't think we're going to rally next month. Let's pull this fractal and find uh, an approximate time as to when I think it's a reasonable assumption to get a rally inside of Bitcoin. So I'm going to pull a candle from the top over to the candle of the breakout for this consolidation. So basically this price action right here, pulling all of this price action from the high to the low to the breakout. And I'm gonna drag this back over 
to where we are today. So from that, we can make a time-based estimate that would put us basically the middle of September of this year before we can see that breakout candle and continuation of the trend, a, a, a break of the all-time high. Don't get me wrong. I would love for us to just have a V-shaped recovery from here and break out. And if that happens, I will be on the winning side of that as we always are. But my analysis leads me to believe that we have a few more months of boring but the good news is i think the bottom is in i think the low is in so let me know your thoughts down below do you agree do you think that this is hopium do you think that uh do you think that we're going to head to much lower levels i know there's going to be a few people that do think we're going to head to much lower levels there always are but uh, i want to hear from you regardless don't forget to join the discord and sign up for our free bitcoin trading bot we are about to launch bang box which is our scalping bot which has the ability to scalp 20 percent out of the market multiple times a month if you are interested it's 100 percent free all that we ask is that you use one of our partner exchanges more information about that down below or just join the discord and we can point you in the right directions um, that is all the time i have for today if you enjoyed this content please leave it a like don't forget to subscribe share this video with anybody that you think would find value of it share it on twitter share it all over the place spread it like butter and uh, until next time please trade safe it is jungle out there peace